So now let's convert the decimal number to binary. How about the number 98, base 10? And we want to turn that into binary. We'll follow the same procedure we did on the decimal to decimal conversion. We'll take 98, we'll divide it by 2. What that gives us is 49. And I'll just write a column here. Remainder, remainder with an M, I say, uh, zero. Right, because that was an even number. Then we take the 49, bring it back here. We divide it by two. That looks like it's going to get something. That's going to give us 48, which is indeed uh, 24. Oh, uh, 24 with the remainder of one. And we take 24 over here, we divide it by 2, we get 12 with a remainder of 0. We take the 12, we divide it by 2, we get 6 and a remainder of 0. We take the 6, we divide it by 2, we get 3 and a remainder of 0. We take the 3, we divide it by 2, we get 1 with a remainder of 1, and finally 1, and 1 divided by 2 is 0. Hey, we're done with a remainder of 1. And what this tells us, remember we get most significant at the bottom, least to the top, so we just read backwards. So our number is 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, base 2. Sequentially divide by 2's, the remainder each time is the digit that pops off uh, the stack, and that tells you what the number is. Simple mechanical procedure, um, and now you can go both ways.